now it started. Okay, welcome everybody um, to the seventh C3 call, cross-company community call. As you know, we are very happy to have you here. And as you know, our motto is we are all community managers, so we connect people and we are community managers from different companies. And we thought, why not connect among each other and put our experiences together and grow together? with this call. That's the purpose of why we are here and that's what you can expect today. So just join in join in the discussion. Um, this is a special day today because it's not just a call, it will be a little mini online bar camp. So there will be many, many interesting topics with many, many exciting people here. Um, but we, before we dive deeper into that, um, yeah, first of all, um, if you want to share what we are talking about, feel free and use our hashtag C3Call for that. You can tweet or share it elsewhere. Um, yeah, and probably you want to know who we are. I'm Achim. I haven't introduced myself yet, um, but I'm not alone here. There, I'm from Daimler and there are many other uh, people from different companies here who are your hosts. Um, do we want to um, say hello, everybody? <laughs> hi, hi. Hello. Okay. Hello. It's Simon uh, from Cognion, Katrin from Scheffler, Rebecca from ZF, Harald from Siemens, uh, Stephanie from Conti, and Steffi from Bosch, and Monica also from Bosch. I think she's not here today, um, otherwise please say so. Um, but we are really from different companies. We are all community managers. We are all active in social intranets and um, we use our networks to bring together people um, and share interesting topics and discuss the potential of communities. Um, first of all, we are using Teams today. Until now we have used Zoom. Um, is everybody familiar with uh, Zoom? Uh, please um, post a one in the chat. Are you familiar? If not, post a zero if you dare. <laughs> no, we are not judging anybody. Familiar with Teams, Microsoft Teams? We see a lot of ones, no zero. Okay. So do we have to explain anything, Simon, apart from that there is a list of participants and this, there is a chat and stuff like that? Well, I don't think so. You see the main features there uh, on the top. You should see the participants list, the chat, uh, the raise hand functions. I think it's always a good idea uh, if there are a lot of people in the sessions later on to use this raise hand features if somebody wants to say something. Um, and you have the feature to share screen. I know that uh, some of you want uh, wants to use uh, mural whiteboards. Um, you have to make clear uh, where the whiteboard is. A good idea is to post the, the link to the whiteboard in the chat so people find it quickly and then discuss if, if one person <coughs> shares the mural and shows what's happening there or everybody should open it. But it's more or less the same as in any other video conference tool. Perhaps as one remark, we will also record the sessions. So I will go around uh, in the two session rounds. We have two, not three. Um, uh, two rounds, um, two sessions in parallel and two rounds uh, after each other. But, but I will show this later on in the session plan. Okay, great. Um, another little note. Uh, we have it also in our landing page. So just switch to the next slide, please, Steffi. Uh, yes, it's a legal note. Um, I don't want to dive into it, but we can discuss anything freely here as long as it's not competition, providers, prices and condi conditions or uh, product uh, secrets uh, products. So we can discuss, of course, anything that goes on in communities like um, how do we interact um, methods, um, setup of communities and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. Uh, don't share any products, uh, any secret information. We don't want that. Um, and we could be in big trouble if we did. So um, just don't do it. Yeah. And uh, the next thing, uh, Simon has already hinted on that. 
um, that's our format. How can a bike camp happen in one and a half hours? It's a mini bike camp, so we have space for two sessions, uh, each of them having 30 minutes. And of course, in like in every bar camps, there are parallel sessions. So you can't really uh, be at every session at the same time, but you have to choose between two or three sessions, um, uh, synchronous sessions. Um, there will be links, uh, team links for that. So you will go to different team rooms, uh, so to say. Um, uh, and we will explain that. Um, but overall, like in every bar camp, bar camps are interactive. Uh, that means not only that you can ask at any time in the chat, um, but that also maybe some session owners will ask you questions and hopefully uh, you will have um, something to come up with. Um, I think everybody of us has something to come up with and sometimes it takes some courage or some, um, some initial um, stimulus to to do it, so just feel free to do so. Um, another law of bar camps is also that you can switch sessions as you like, so you, if you think a topic is not interesting uh, to you anymore, you can just try out the other session, if you find the link, but we will tell you. And the last one is, if you like the format, if you like the bar camp, we will ask you later about that. Uh, we will continue this uh, the next time on January the 21st, when there will be our next um, cross-company community call. Yeah, and let's have a look at the agenda. That's what we are he all here for. And we'll have some session pitches. Yes, right. Like on the on the page, we just did it very easy. We had a um, we had a etherpad where you where we collected suggestions for sessions, and then we just tried to put that in the session plan. I have that here. I'll make it a little bigger. Uh, we had space for uh, three rooms, like three sessions in parallel. We had uh, five sessions pitched, uh, but one there was a, um, a, a conflict with the calendar, so we had to put it out. So now we have two sessions in parallel, so we only use room one and two. Uh, it works like that, uh, that you have here the room number, so to say. We are now in room one. So everybody who wants to visit a session that happens in room one can just stay here in, in this video conference. And we have another room two here with the dial-in link below. So if you want to change that uh, to that room, you can just click here and jump to the room. Uh, perhaps most of you know in Teams, you can uh, like hold a call, you can go in both rooms and then switch very fastly between the two rooms if you want to. Uh, we have the session titles here. Every session has uh, sort of a little uh, own page here with documentation. Uh, we have the bank link here on the top. So if you click here, you come back to the session plan or to the to the landing page of this call. And uh, we have plenty of space for documentation here with this edit link. Um, these posts are in uh, wiki mode, so everybody is allowed to write on it or comment on it below. So you can use uh, these pages for documentation. And in the session plan below the session titles, uh, we have the names of the session owners who give the sessions. Uh, these are linked with the LinkedIn profile, so you can quickly connect to their people. So now uh, for the next five minutes, we have uh, mon one minute uh, per session owner to talk a little bit about what will happen in the session. And if anybody wants to uh, fill these free slots, like uh, provide an ad hoc session, you can just raise your hand. And we can put it perhaps in the in the second slot, so we have a little time to prepare uh, a fifth session, if so. Uh, this is that, that said, I think I give the word to Verena or Silke to talk a little bit about the white fluffy mystery, and I put a timer on one minute. Hi, here is Silke. So the white fluffy mystery, it's a mystery, and uh, our session will be at a mystery in the beginning as well. So you can have a little bit of feeling about what the, the Daimler participants had in the past. So that's why I don't want to tell so much more, but it was the first uh, uh, social internet campaign at Daimler what we did. Social internet was new at this time and we make a big experiment and we don't know it, if it fail or it will be successful, it will be a shit storm or not. 
So um, we did it and we talked with Achim as well. He uh, did the social internet campaign and we asked him, Achim, what do you mean about that one? And first his face was like now, <laughs> eyebrows going up. And um, after that, he was happy that uh, he joined us and he helped us to do the campaign. So a lot of okay. more I don't want to tell now. Three seconds left, very good. Uh, just a short issue, uh, Georg, Georg uh, mailed me that he's not able to join the team session. Uh, Alex, short question to you. Would you mind that we switch your session to the first slot? And Georg, in the second, so we can solve this technical problem? For me, it's no problem. Okay, so then uh, Alexander will be next in room two. One so, minute. yes, unfortunately, I prepared it in German, so it will be, um, I think, a mix between German and English. Um, about uh, community managers and how they can safeguard uh, civil rights, human rights. But the main idea behind this session is to discuss it with you because um, in the um, history, in the tradition of communities, there are ancient, uh, how can I say it, ideals, uh, and we should talk about how we can uh, promote communities as a kind of, um, of uh, civil right uh, movement, for example. And if this will um, lead to more community members, for example, if we can spread it in the communities. And I think it's uh, it's also very interesting with the first, um, the planned first uh, session that, uh, yes, you have some problems in normal, in normal organizations. So that's from me in short. Uh, thank you, Simon, your mic is off. Oops. Yes, old problem. Uh, then we have the community canvas model with Tanya. Hi, yes, hi. A couple of years ago, I came across the community canvas model. Um, what is kind of made of three subjects with 17 themes. Um, and it shows you how you can build the community so you're not forgetting any crucial things. So I would like to go with you through those 17 themes regarding internal communities and to discuss with you what your best experience are, what your best examples are, and how you can engage the community and really build a community that means something to your employees. Okay, very well. Georg is uh, dialed in via phone. Can you hear us? Can you talk? Yes. Hello, okay. everyone. Welcome. Yeah, sorry for the technical issues. No it problem. Is, because there's a because question of the wrong? recording or some security policy. Yeah. yeah. Um, question? Do, you want to stay, do you want to stay in the first slot or uh, do we change it so we can see if we can fix the problems? Um, yeah, let's leave it as it is. Yeah. Okay. Leave it as it is. Okay, so Alex, we'll leave it as it is. Sorry for the confusion. No problem. Okay. So one minute for uh, the pitch for your session. Georg, yeah, just it's about uh, the dual operating system we are applying at uh, T Systems and Deutsche Telekom as such. So this model is emerging over the last couple of months. And um, yeah, I'm interested to hear your views on that and to share what we are doing and to learn from you and also find opportunities how to connect to to build upon. Um, Georg, do you have do you want to present something in the session, like a presentation or something, which you can't I have do? a presentation if it's working. So I could share a, a WebEx Teams uh, session where people could dial in optionally. So I, I'm very flexible. Yeah, but then uh, but then we would have to change the links. Uh, uh, do you have a PowerPoint presentation? Yes. And you send this to me via email, then I will go to your session and share it for you, and you can dial in via phone. Uh, yeah, uh, I would like to propose that he sends it to me because I'm anyway in room two. So okay, but I f leave it up to you, Simon. Yeah, that's good. Uh, then, uh, Katrin, uh, do do you have the email address mm -hmm. of Georg, and yeah. you can send it, and he replies to you. I write my email address in the chat. You get a lot of mails. 
<laughs> no, no spam. Only good um, people here. Georg, uh, can you see the chat and my email address? Yes. Okay, yeah, great. I'll send it to you in a second. Perfect. And then I okay. share my screen with your presentation and um, you can talk <laughs> and I will Perfect. assist you. Very good. So everybody who wants to come to the session White Fluffy Mystery, just stay in this video conference. If you want to go to the session with Georg, like room two, I, uh, you have it in the session plan. But I also post the Teams link directly in the chat. So if you want to, you can go there. I think we need one or two minutes uh, until everybody is Oops. So I suggest that you change the room now. And as soon as the room is finished, uh, we might start with the sessions. We will have no gathering between the two session slots. So please uh, uh, change in time so that the second session can start at 4.50. So have fun and see you back here in this room at 20 past five.